Welcome back to the garage. As you can see, it's a mess. Um, working on the Red Cat Cyclone XB10, which I got for my son years ago from Best Buy. And it kind of quit working. Um, I'm not 100% sure I've got everything I need to fix it. Pretty sure that the stock motor was bad, so um, it would like it doesn't feel smooth, it would like chatter. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, the, the tires are okay. I mean, I'll hold on to them for like outdoor, maybe. But my son wants to drive. Our local hobby shop has a carpet track inside. And I don't know how invested my son will actually be in it. So I wasn't going to just get him a $400 carpet truggy or, you know, some new vehicle. So I just jumped on the old eBay and I found... A replacement Red Cat stock motor for this car, it's brand new, and a brand new set of wheels and tires. So I'll have new tires, a new motor, it's a two-wheel drive buggy, so it won't be driven outdoors with the tires, so it should be perfectly fine to drive on that carpet track based on the hobby shop's rules. So we'll do that. It runs on uh, nickel metal hydride. So uh, it'll just be a way for him to drive on the track and experience it and see if, see if he's into it and we can move forward from there. So let's, let's get to it. Put this, uh, put this motor in here. Oh, this thing is dirty. This thing needs cleaned up a bunch. Like I said, I got uh, sourced all these new parts on eBay, uh, pretty cheap in regards to I think it was shipped like $45 to my door for the motor and the wheels and tires, which is a lot cheaper than a new hundred, new hundreds of dollar carpet buggy just to try things out and see if you like it. Got some new hardware, new motor mount screws, which I'll just use the old ones. Okay. Okay. Two, carry it away tight there until I get this other one. It's about good right there. And then Red to yellow, black to blue. And what we can do is just run a little test here. Turn the controller on, turn the truck on. Got steering. Oh yeah. And as you can see, it should be red to blue and black to yellow because forward is reverse. So the motor leads are backwards. So we'll flip those around, but yeah, that problem is fixed. This motor was definitely bad. There's These are 12 millimeter hex, but they've got these adapters in them that just go on the pin so it's not like it's not like the crawlers where there are these, these metal hexes on the axle shaft. It's just these plastic 12 millimeter inserts that go in and then they hook on the pin. And that one just came right out, which is nice. Didn't have to mess with that. So out with the old. So while we're at this point of the game, I'm gonna clean 
this thing up a little bit. For all my hard molded plastics, even whether it's RC or my side by my full size side by side or anything, I use this orange glow and it just, I don't know, it brings plastics back to life like, like no other. If you've got dull, dull uh, molded plastic, anything, get yourself some of that. Look at how that bumper looks already. It's, it's good stuff. Cleans, shines, takes the dull out. Bore you with all me cleaning this car, so we'll come back when it's clean. Uh, it's not a showroom shine, but a shine nonetheless. Let's get these new tires on. Again, also Red Cat. Brand new front tires. Same as stock. Like I said, you take these 12 millimeter inserts and they just press right in a little pin fell out so I'll put that in pretty smooth let's get into this rear set since I'm on this side of the vehicle we'll just stay there Brand new rear wheels and tires. Same as stock. Red cat. Perfect. Flip it around. And those are just free rolling. Look at how nice that spins. Beautiful. And slide the pin in on this last rear. And we're in. Spacer deals, they go put the rear wing on, then they go above it, and then you put your pins in, and then the roof, which is just a clip in, nothing real fancy. About like so, the GoPro mount on top. And there it is. Relatively inexpensive repair. And we can take this thing to the local hobby shop and hopefully run it on the track. So let's get a look at this truck and then we'll do that. 